Hi there, this is Matt with Grand Ventures, and today we're going to check out an interesting furniture store. This isn't just a furniture store, it's actually called the Old Cannery out in Sumner, Washington. What makes it unique is it, it was an old cannery at one point back in the day. It was taken over in the 80s, and it has 77,000 square feet of showroom floor. They also have some cool animatronics, and they make fudge daily. So that's one of the main motivations of coming here. But we hope you join us on this adventure. This isn't just a furniture store. This is a whole experience going on. So Ex And there's fudge. And there's fudge. Yeah. Did this girl... Now, she doesn't like fudge, I heard. Do you like I, fudge? Yeah, I do! What What's your favorite type of fudge? Uh, vanilla. Vanilla? Oh, and we're... And birthday cake. And birthday cake. Well, we're going to check out and see what kind of fudge offerings they have. And this is the front of the building. And as you can see, this thing is massive. It goes all the way down the block there. It's really hard to get kind of a scope of how large this place actually is, but it's an old cannery. And as you can see from out front here, this also doubles as Sumner's Visitor Center. And it says, come on in. The store is so cool. The door is massive. It almost looks like you're going to go into some sort of medieval castle. I like a hobbit house. I like a but you need to know one thing when you go in. You have to stay one moose apart. Oh, look at this. You do have to stay one moose apart. I think that's their mascot is a moose. And here we are. We are inside. And if you look at that sign up there, it says real wood. It is a solid value. And uh, I guess the beds are really climbable here. Is that comfy? This is a uh, Jake, the old cannery historian. Folks was hearing about the old cannery far and wide, and they was wanting to come see what all the fuss was about. I guess the highway department heard the buzz and got the hint, because even the highway signs signal the old cannery. So now nice folks like yourself have no trouble finding the greatest furniture store in the U.S. of A. Thanks, Jake. Thanks, Jake. Here. Well, Jake has said this is the greatest furniture store in the USA, so do you agree? Leave a comment below. And they have an Easter display with some other interesting characters here. Pappy. Oh, it's old Pappy. Hey, Pappy. Pappy? How's it going? Lenny and I would like to invite you all to look around and enjoy yourselves while you're here at the old cannery today. And when you need a rest, stop by the fudge factory for a free cup of coffee. The old cannery is so to the box. Go on in and get ready for a day you won't soon forget. So up front you're greeted by these characters to my rear there. It's kind of cool, so it's not just a furniture store, but it's got some couple extra things that are making it interesting. And, and fun for the entire families. Yeah, so if you're in the market for some furniture, they have interesting, nice looking furniture. And, and another cool thing here is they have this train that goes around the whole place. And it's decorated for the Daffodil Parade. There's, there's another shot of the train, it's taken off. They cater to those of us with a sweet tooth and look, this is the sugar train. Now the kids want to ride this one as long as they can, but then they're going to be bouncing off the walls. Yeah, they got a lot of model train stuff here. And it's not for sale, it's for display, but there's some old vintage looking ones. It's a little worse for wear. And they have a wooden one up there, a BNSF wooden train. While touring the old cannery, we met the man who works on the trains and animatronic figures. He was nice enough to give us a behind-the-scenes look at his workshop. I'm JT. I'm the train guy here at the old cannery furniture warehouse. And I run all the trains and all the talking animatronics throughout the store. The talking moose and the bison and all the people. And that's my full-time job. Well, it sounds like a fun job. It is, absolutely. <laughs> So J JT is showing us some of his different workshops where he repairs and makes the trains here. A lot of times people don't realize this is a hundred year old plus building. Did you kind of see? Oh yeah, there's a foundation there. And then we run the tram train. We'll be running that for uh, the Daffodil Parade. 
Train Depot. This kind of gives you an idea of our whole shop. Here. Oh wow! Oh, that is amazing. Got a whole Christmas theme over here. Yeah. So we we do a big. Uh, we had 22 uh, separate trains running this last Christmas, and so this next this coming year we'll probably have the same. But this is basically where all the magic happens, where we repair everything, where we store everything. Kind of gives you an idea of all our locomotives here. Oh yeah, that's quite a selection. And then this is my test track, so anytime I fix something, I'll put it on here, see if it works. We're making a uh, dragon train. Oh yeah. Wow. So that's the goal anyhow, but yeah, that's pretty much it. Well, that's, that's awesome. Well, thanks for showing us this this uh, insider tip. Not everybody gets to come down no. into the dungeon. No, no, that's excellent. Thank you so much. We Good appreciate job. it. So that was awesome. We just got the grand tour of the workshop where they do all the train stuff. From the looks of it, they have different themed trains for different seasons, different occasions, and there's a whole workshop down there. We'll just show you. Really neat to see the insider thing. Employees are super nice here, and especially the main guy. And he gave the kiddos. A train whistle. Let me let me hear what it sounds like. Oh wow! Sounds just like a train. Holden got one too. Come on, do it again. Give me a good one. Excellent. They put a lot of effort into the trains and the theming here, so it makes it fun. Not only to shop for nice furniture, but it gives the kiddos something to see and do. So again, this place is massive. There's a ton to see. So we're gonna go down the right hand side, work our way down, and then show you the left hand side as well. But this. If you come down here, prepare to spend a little time because there's a lot to see, both furniture-wise as well as the interesting animatronics and trains. Look over here now. Some more animatronics. We got a it's like a rooster up there with a big tail, and look at these lovely ladies down here. Yeah, these animatronic chickens they talk and they sing. Got some eggs in there. The apron is really what drives it home for me. I heard a voice from on high talking to me. Ends up being this guy. It's like a Zoltar Aladdin. Greetings, old cannery shoppers. Take your time and examine the startling array of carpets. Luxury and value, all in one package. Oh, he's talking about the carpets and it's appropriate because he's riding one. <laughs> and just when you thought you were at the end, there's even more. And they do have some pretty cool looking artwork and prints here. It's an old train, which seems appropriate. Some boxing gloves. Look at this. Oh, and if, if the price is right, you can have this. It's like a motorcycle bar. It's made out of a motorcycle for like your wine. Huh. I mean, who doesn't want that? Yeah. We have finally reached the end. It feels like we've been walking for a while. I don't know, probably what, half a mile maybe mm -hmm. back here? Um, but we finally have an end! That is my favorite section. The closeout and clearance. Home cannery furniture warehouse. You know why they call it the scratch and dent area? You I don't. think it's because the furniture over there is slightly scratched or dented? Wrong. It's named after me, Whistling Scratch and my trusty dog Dent. Now where is that dog? Now if there's any art fans out there, don't be disappointed. They have a mattress gallery. And they have a kids area with kids beds and such. And they also have more train related items in here. Look at this. Push the button below to make the train go. 
Okay, push the button. Push the button. It's blinking. Mine's going! And if you take a look here, let's make some noise. And how much of the store have we actually seen? Barely any. Now we're always in the market for some art or interesting items. I think I found what I truly need. Some sparkly sheep. Only almost a thousand dollars. Really? That much? Eight ninety eight. Okay. Now, as you can see, they have many, many different types of tables. One type of table you would not expect to find here at the ca cannery. The periodic table. You can buy that too. Now, animatronics are good. Great made furniture is even better. But the real reason I just came here is for the handmade fudge, which is made daily here. So we're here at the fudge counter, and looks like a pound is $14.98. That's kind of the equivalent there, how big it is. And so we're gonna pick four different flavors or get a pound and let you know how it is. From the looks of it, what looks good so far? Um, I'm thinking the moose drool. That looks really good. Plus there's moose all over, so, you know. Hopefully it's not made with real moose. <laughs> um, uh, I'm liking the look of the cookie dough one or the chocolate strawberry. That looks really good. Ooh. I, I actually, I have three that I think look well. The mint chocolate swirl, of course, because I love mint chocolate. And the Butterfinger one and the cookie dough. Ooh, awesome. yum. And I'm always partial to the old peanut butter chocolate, as well as that tiger butter looks amazing. Hi there, this is Matt, and earlier today we were at the old cannery, and we bought some fudge, which they're known for, and unfortunately, I fudged up the footage. Oh, fudge. Um, something happened and we were, I was doing some slow-mo and didn't switch it over. So we ate some fudge there. We kind of reviewed it there, albeit, yeah, we can't use that footage, but I'm home here today to show you some of this fudge. Take a little sample and give you a review. Mmm, very good. We got four different types, a pound in total. We got a mint fudge, a Neapolitan, moose drool, I think it was, some, something moose related, kind of tastes like Rocky Road. And I got like this tiger stripe fudge. All of them were excellent. I think out the door it was like about 16 bucks for a whole pound of fudge, which I know fudge is expensive. It's a rare treat. We don't get fudge very often, but definitely, if you're in the market for some furniture and you have a hankering for some fudge, visit the old cannery. They make it daily. Everybody enjoyed it. Everybody had their favorites. Um, I think I really like the one Mama chose, which is the Moose Drool. Delicious. Original footage didn't work out, but we have this here now. And definitely get yourself some old cannery fudge. It's delicious. Well, and that was the old cannery. What an interesting location. They got some really nice furniture there. Also, the animatronics and different creatures and animals and people that talk to you is pretty fun. And if you don't stay for those items, definitely check out the fudge. The fudge was delicious. Um, and so, yeah, come check this out. This is in Sumner, Washington. And get your walking shoes on because there's a lot of area to cover. We like showing you these different location videos as well as travel videos. If you like this type of content, please give us a big thumbs up. That definitely helps our channel. Also, if you're not a subscriber, please do and make sure and tap that bell. That way you can join us on our next adventure. Additionally, you can support the channel through our Patreon. $5 a month will get you a personalized postcard from a location we visited. And we'd like to see you on our next adventure. Thanks for watching. Now it's quite appropriate. They do have an homage to Harambe. Gone, but not forgotten.